What's up guys? So in honor how freaking cold it is here in New York, I literally think it's going to be like 10 degrees this weekend. I figured let's make a little Italian penicillin, a little childhood comfort food for any Italian family, right? So today we are making a little thing called pastina. Now, when I was younger, this was something that my mom would always make me if I was sick or if it was like super cold out and you just wanted something comforting. So if you don't know what pastina is, it's like these cute little stars like these cute little, you probably can't even see them but it's these teeny little stars and it just makes you feel good so i'm doing a super simple recipe and you're gonna love it especially if this was something that you used to have so the first thing that we're going to be doing is putting some water technically chicken stock so i'm doing water and chicken bouillon because that's how we roll over here so you're going to be bringing your chicken stock or your water and bouillon to a boil once that's at a boil all we're doing is adding our pastina and then after that's cooked for like five to eight minutes or however long it takes for it to soak up most of the liquid you're just going to be adding some butter and some parmigiano reggiano to it that's literally it now sometimes i have had it where you'll throw in an egg and scramble it in there that's beautiful so whatever makes you happy is what you want to do here so I'm just gonna let this come to a boil and then I will show you guys the next steps. Okay, so now that our water has come to a boil, I'm just gonna add the pastina right in. And we're just gonna cook this again until most of the liquid is soaked up. So sometimes it's like five minutes, it's like it all depends, you know, it all depends in life. So this is something that I watch rather than time. So once it gets there, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then I will show you how we finish it up. So for your pastina while you're checking it, you still want it to be a little al dente, so you want a bite to it. You don't want it to go too beyond that because then it can get mushy and that's just not a good time. So I think we're good here. And remember, after you take it off the heat, it's still going to cook. So I'll go to about a little bit less than where we are. So if you guys wanna see, this is about our consistency right now. And then to here, we're just gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Get in there, beautiful. And a hefty, a hefty sprinkling of Parmigiano Reggiano because we add that to everything, right? You're gonna add it here while it's hot and we're gonna add it on top after we put it in the bowl, you know? Now keep in mind, some people make this a little bit more soupy, some people make it a little bit thicker. That's a choose your own destiny type of thing. I sort of make it in between and that's what makes me my happiest self. So all we're gonna do now is put it, of course, another little topping. And then we gotta find a spoon. We gotta find a spoon, one second. Okay, let's test it. It's like, like an instant transport back. So if you grew up eating this, I hope that this made you feel good and a little nostalgic. And go and get some pastina, you know? Why not? It's cold out right now. People aren't feeling good right now. This is gonna make you feel better. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna take this.